Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you a box of nail art from Daily Charm. I would say this box is more of a Valentine's Day box. There's a few things in it that aren't Valentine's Day related, but I picked things that I could do a bunch of Valentine's nails with and I will be doing my nails at the end of this video and they will be Valentine's nails, of course, and I'll be using these products. So if you're interested in seeing everything in the box, it's a good one, stick around and I will start sharing it with you. So if you follow me on Instagram, I just did a reel sharing one of Daily Charm's just newly released products. It was released on the 15th of January and it's a really good one. They haven't had their own cuticle oil and these cuticle oils are beautiful as well. They smell amazing. So I will show you them quick in this video again in case you didn't see that reel. But my Instagram handle is down in the description of the video this video if you want to follow me on instagram i do a lot of reels and whatnot that are not on my youtube channel so here are the cuticle oils you can buy them in a pack of three i think it's 20 us dollars plus you can see my 10 percent off code up on the screen and you can use that for any of these products so i'll have it down in the description as well but let's look at this so this is a pack of three and I will pull them out really quick and show you. They're beautiful. So we've got Rose Garden. And I just love how they put the little dried roses in there. The bottle is stunning and it's 15 mils. And it smells wonderful too, of course. And then we've got Lily Field. And again, those dried flowers. Beautiful. I love how they have the flowers on the front there too. Definitely a conversation piece for your clients and yourself when you're applying cuticle oil at the end of a service. And the last one is Peony Season. Again, beautiful. Look at the dried flowers in that one. More pinkish red. A little different than the first one I showed you. They're all beautiful though. So those are the new cuticle oils. And I will have the links to every product I share in this video down in the description. So now I'm gonna share the stickers that I picked. They have the cutest stickers and they're good quality. Some stickers I've received from other places, they don't stick well, while well, Daily Charms always do. So that's a bonus. So there's some love stickers. I figured we could use a lot of these at Valentine's Day. I like the fact that they're black and white and you could also, with the love in the white, you could use their glass gels to cover up the white ones and then they could be red or pink. So that's a neat idea to do with these stickers. And how adorable are these ones? Some little bears and bunnies and hearts. Very cute. And then we've got some more Valentine's ones. And I like the fact that I have the lips on here as well as cupcakes and hearts. Just really cute ones. And then we've got some more heart stickers and these have a little bit of wording on the bottom. Kind of remind me of more hand-drawn stickers. And then we've got some holographic ones. These are really pretty. And we've got stars on there too, as well as you can see, but definitely the hearts are on there. So those are the stickers I received. Now I picked a foil that I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Even though it's not hearts, it's pretty flowers that are the right colors for Valentine's Day. So I'll just show you it. There's the packaging. I like how pretty that is. It's kind of got some holographic lines in it as well, a little outlining the pattern. I'm gonna open it and show you how big it is. really pretty 
design and as you can see it just goes on and on you always get such big pieces from them loving this one Now Daily Charm also has other things other than art and I needed another one of these and I wanted to show you that they actually carry these. So we've got the little stand that you can do your tips on and it comes with a base that's magnetic and you get one, two, three, four, five of the gold magnetic little stands to put your tips on and I'll pull it out just to show you better. I'm thinking you most likely have seen these before, but I really like using these for doing designs on to share with you guys in videos. Or if you want to practice as a nail tech and you're not an influencer, you can use them for that too. I'll just show you. So there's the base. And then you just place each one on. So just like that and there's three more to put on here and then yeah you can do some practicing with tips so when i use this with my tips i'll just put a little tab on here that you would place press on nails on your own nail with and i'll just put them on there i find they last a lot longer than using sticky tack but yeah really nice that they carry those so they carry these cute little spatula for stirring more than anything. And there's, they have the other little scoop one. And I think there might be one more, but this is the one I wanted to share with you. And I love the fact that it has that pink little crystal on the top. I'll just open it up just so you can see it a little better. So there it is. And I love using these to stir gels with. It's just a little bit easier than using a dotting tool because it's easier to clean up, I find. Next thing, you guys are really going to like this one. So they carry these beautiful little gold rose brushes, but I think they have other colors than the pink. So they have some netting over it to protect the brush until you use it. So it's perfect for dusting off your client's nails and I'll just pull this down. So here's the brush. It's so pretty. Very soft, very, very soft. Perfect for dusting off your client's nails. I can put it in where I have my brushes and it'll stand up right in there, so that's nice. So I have a bunch of loose glitters to share with you, but before I do that, I have polishes that I picked from them, and these are all related to Valentine's Day. That's why I picked them. So I'm just gonna show you quickly the polishes. I don't think I'm gonna swatch them in this video because I'm gonna be using some of them on my nails and I will be doing a reel using these products as well on my Instagram. So it'll probably be on a client. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can see that reel when I do post because it won't be on YouTube. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly show you the polishes in the bottle and I'll be using them in those two videos or the reel and the video. So I don't feel I need to swatch them right now for you. So this is the first one and it's 907. It's a nice purple, not too deep, but not too light. A perfect purple for Valentine's Day. And then I've got a nice pink here. It's a deeper pink, 308. That's a really nice pink. A little bit deeper pink, like I said. I really like this one. Now this one's a brighter, lighter pink, I would say. And this one's 301. Another nice pink for Valentine's Day. And then this is a glitter gel polish. S84. Okay, I'll be 
beautiful that one is. It's kind of a purpley pink almost with some iridescent fine glitter in it. I'm just going to show you how pretty. I would go with either the lighter pink or the, even the deeper pink or even that purple because it's got the iridescent different colors in it. And one more. Now this is one of their uh, glass polishes. So you could use it over their whiskers, their cat's eye polish and silver. And then you're gonna get that nice, it is pink. You're gonna get that really nice pink Valentine's nail that has cat's eye underneath it. Very pretty. So those are the polishes I picked. Now we're gonna look at all those glitters. So this is the first one, it's so beautiful, and it's called Chameleon Glitter Hex Mix in Starlight. And as you guys know from previous videos, they always come sealed. So pretty, that would go perfect with those pinks I picked. Oh, look at that in the camera. So this one is Silver Magic 0 0.040 Chunky Iridescent Hollow Glitter. Beautiful. I like the fact that it's chunky, so pretty. And that would go nice with any of the colors I picked. Usually when you put something like this with those colors, it'll pick up the color you have it beside. Again, beautiful glitters. They come very full, as you can see, is a tipped all over my hand, but look how pretty that one is. That one's kind of got, and I'm just gonna bring it up with my glove. It looks like kind of purple and blue to it. And I'll tell you what it's called here. I'll flip it around once I put the lid back on, but you get the idea, it's very pretty. Yes, it definitely has, you can see down here, purples and blues, more turquoise blues in it, I'd say. It's very, very nice. Okay, so I'll put the lid on and tell you what it's called. So this one is called Chameleon Glitter Hex Mix in Andromeda is what I'm thinking it's pronounced. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name, but yeah, very, very beautiful one. This one is called a Purple Rain Metallic. Hopefully I don't make a mess of this one. So beautiful. Next, I've got this one. Again, another really pretty one. And this is called Romantic Rose Holographic. pretty one it's good purple and it has the pinks like I picked the darker pink the lighter pink because of the holographic you could pair it with the purple even I do see purple in there so pretty and one more thing to share this is chameleon glitter and this one is Love Good Potion 0 0.015 Fine. Well, that's very nice as well.
So here's everything that I shared with you. A lot of great products, beautiful glitters and polishes. Those cuticle coils are amazing. So they definitely are a one-stop shop. You can get brushes as you saw, tip displays, tools for doing nail art, just everything you need in their store. Again, my 10% off code will be down in the description with the links to all of these products. And I want to start doing my nails now. I'm excited to do a Valentine's set on myself with these products. So if you're interested in seeing how I do my nails, then just stick around and I'll get started. So I'm going to start with Kiss Me and I'm going to do a few of the nails in this. It has such great opaque coverage and I love this color. I think it's one of my favorite colors now that I have from Daily Charm. It just covers so nice. You'll see that when I just do one coat and I will be doing two coats on all the nails but I don't even show that because you can see with one coat the coverage is pretty amazing. So once I have the first coat on I will grab my nail art liner brush from Daily Charm so I can get Kiss Me up nice and close to my cuticles. If you don't do this or use a Art liner brush use one when you're applying polish it's just so much easier to get up nice and close so now i'm doing one more nail and then i'm not going to show you the rest of the nails that i use this color because i want to show you the next color that i use from this nail art haul and everything i use art wise and whatnot is pretty much from this um, nail art haul as well you'll see that and i will show you before i use it exactly what i'm using it for so once i use my art liner brush i just got to clean off some polish i got on my hand before i cure it i'm just going to do around those cuticles again and then yeah i'll show you that next color that i'll be using The next polish I'm using from the Nail Art Haul is Dollhouse and it's going to pair really nicely with this deeper pink. It's just going to tie everything together what I'm doing on this set of nails. So I do do two coats of this. I think I do show you the two coats but it does cover pretty nice too. Not quite as nice as the first one but it is a little bit lighter shade and yeah it's really pretty as well. It would be nice on its own. But I'm using it just for a base for some art that I'll be doing later in this video. And of course, the polish, each layer does cure for 30 seconds. So there's that second layer going on now that I cured it. And then after that, I am going to apply some loose glitter from this nail art haul. And I will show you the glitter that I chose. First, I have to apply 5-in-1 Strengthening Gel. This is perfect if you're doing a sugared nail and you're not going to encapsulate it. So I'm going to apply a layer of it over the nail. I'm not going to cure it. And then I'm going to grab the loose glitter that I'll be using and I'll show you it up close. It's very, very pretty. It's going to pair so nice with both of these colors. And I'll show you why here in a second. So this is the glitter that I picked and this is called Romantic Rose Holographic and I'll open it and you can see why it pairs so nice with the light pink and the dark pink and even wood with purple if you were using purple. So just going to sprinkle it over that nail and I'll shake off any excess glitter and then I like to push down the sides just to make sure nothing's stuck out. So that when it cures, this is the way the nail is going to remain. It's so pretty. I'll show you it up close once I remove the extra glitter with a brush. Once it's cured, it cures for 60 seconds. And there it is. It is so beautiful. It looks so nice with these colors. So now I'm taking some stickers from the haul. And I'm choosing a heart. I think it says love on it. And I'm going to put it on one of the darker nails. Kind of right in the center, maybe a little bit higher really good to push it down and I have the silicone tool on the back of this so I'm going to push it down and then that nail is going to be complete. Now I want to do the art on the ring fingers so I'm going to grab the velvet matte top coat from Daily Charm, my favorite matte top coat, and a thin layer over this nail and it'll cure for 60 seconds and once it's cured I will be back and explain the art that I'll be doing. 
So I have a palette below me and I'm going to take Kiss Me, the first color I used, and a dotting tool. And I'm going to do three dots and I'm going to grab Daily Charms Art Liner brush and I'm going to make it into a heart. This is the easiest way to make hearts, I find. I will put the Art Liner brush link down below with all of the rest of the links in case you want to find it. It's one of the best ones I've ever used and I use it all the time. You'll probably see that or have heard me saying that I do. So I'm just going to fill in that heart and then I'm taking some clear acrylic powder and just sprinkling it over the heart. I should have did all the hearts at once but I wasn't sure if I was going to do one heart or a bunch of hearts and then I decided I needed some more. So again I do three dots with a kiss me polish and then I fill the art in or the hearts in I should say with the art liner brush and you have to forgive me a little bit. I get out of camera just slightly on one of the hearts but once I have them drawn of course then I'm going to sprinkle some powder over them and I'm going to do something else to this nail after that as well so keep watching for that. When that was cured and dusted off, I decided it needed something else. So I decided I wanted to draw some smaller white hearts. So I just made the dots a little smaller, more compact, I guess you'd say. And now I'm filling them in and it's going to just finish that nail and tie everything together with the heart I put on the index finger, just having that little bit of white. And when I'm done that, I, of course, I'm sprinkling with clear acrylic again and it'll cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna take Daily Charms Diamond Shine No Wipe Top Coat. It's my favorite top coat. And I'm gonna cover up the index finger, the snail. And I'm also gonna do the pinky. And I still have one more thing to do on the thumb. So I'm not gonna to top coat it quite yet, but this will cure for 60 seconds once I have those two nails covered up. So I really like the stickers I used on that other nail. So I'm going to grab one more of the stickers, a different one, and I'm going to apply it to the thumb in the middle. And then once I have it on there, of course, I'll top coat. I don't show that. So I'm going to show you the finished nails right away. I love how these turned out. They're the perfect Valentine's nails. I like having the ring finger, the raised hearts, a little bit different. And I love the stickers, the colors. I hope you guys like this set as much as I do. I think they're so perfect for Valentine's Day. And I've been married now for 20 years to my husband, with him for 22 years. So I love Valentine's Day. So let me know what you think of this set of nails. And I want to thank Daily Charm for sending me all of the products to share with you. And if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.